In the ancient lands of Era, a land shrouded in mist and legend, there was a prophecy whispered among the druids and bards. They spoke of a warrior queen, a fierce and valiant leader who would rise to protect her people in times of darkness. Her name would be spoken with reverence, and her legacy would shape the course of the land for generations. Macha, a young woman with fiery red hair and a spirit as fierce as the land itself, grew up hearing these tales. She had always felt a deep connection to the land, its history, and the stories of its heroes. Her father, a skilled warrior, taught her the art of combat, and her mother, a wise healer, imparted the secrets of herbal lore. Little did Macha know that she would soon be thrust into a destiny far greater than she could have imagined. As darkness began to spread across Era, a shadowy force known as the Raven Clan emerged from the mist-covered hills. They sought to conquer the land, subjugating its people and erasing its ancient traditions. The people cried out for a leader to rally them against this impending threat. Macha, hearing the desperate pleas of her people, knew that the time had come. She donned her armor, a gleaming bronze breastplate adorned with intricate Celtic designs, and fastened a cloak woven from the finest wool. The silver torque around her neck signified her lineage as a descendant of the great warrior queens of old. With a sword at her side and a heart full of determination, Macha stepped forward. The prophecy echoed in her mind, and she felt the weight of her ancestors' hopes upon her shoulders. She called upon the bards to spread the tale of her courage, and soon, the winds carried whispers of the warrior queen who would challenge the Raven Clan. As Macha rallied her people, the Raven Clan's forces grew bolder. Their leader, a cunning and ruthless warlord named Baylor, believed that his power was invincible. The battle lines were drawn, and the clash of steel against steel reverberated across the land. At the Battle of Dun Not En Gaul, Machi led her forces into the fray. Her presence on the battlefield was electrifying, and her bravery inspired those who fought beside her. With every swing of her sword, she defended her people and pushed back the Raven Clan's advance. Baylor himself stepped onto the battlefield, his armor glinting with malevolence. A duel between the two leaders ensued, their weapons clashing like thunder and lightning. Macha's determination and skill proved a match for Baylor's brute strength, and with a final, resounding blow, she struck him down. As Baylor fell, his forces wavered. The winds seemed to shift, as if the land itself rejoiced in the defeat of darkness. The Raven Clan's ranks crumbled, and Era's people emerged victorious, their cries of triumph echoing through the hills. With the defeat of the Raven Clan, Era began to heal. Macha's leadership united the land's disparate tribes, and a newfound sense of unity blossomed. She dedicated herself to rebuilding the land, nurturing its traditions, and fostering peace among its people. But Macha's legacy extended beyond the realm of warfare. She championed education, inviting druids and bards to teach the young generation. Her benevolence and wisdom earned her the title of Machi of the Golden Heart a name that would be passed down through the ages. As years turned into decades, Macha's influence reached far and wide. But Era's peace was once again threatened, this time by internal strife. A power-hungry faction sought to seize control, 
igniting a civil war that threatened to tear the land apart. Macha, now aged but still formidable, knew that her final challenge had come. She donned her armor once more, the bronze gleaming like memories of battles long past. With a steady gaze, she addressed her people, her voice carrying the weight of her experience and the fire of her spirit. Leading her forces one last time, Macha confronted the rebellious faction. With a blend of diplomacy and strength, she managed to quell the uprising without further bloodshed. Her legacy as a warrior queen had evolved into that of a wise and just ruler, a beacon of hope and unity. As Macha's time in the mortal realm drew to a close, a great gathering was held in her honor. Bards sang her praises, recounting her valor and compassion. The land itself seemed to hold its breath, as if acknowledging the passing of a true legend. Before she departed from this world, Macha addressed her people one final time. She spoke of the prophecy that had guided her, of the battles won and the peace restored. She urged them to remember their history, to embrace their traditions, and to never forget the power of unity. And so, Macha's flame burned bright even as she passed into legend. Her name became synonymous with courage, leadership, and the enduring spirit of Era. Through the ages, her story would be whispered by bards, mothers, and warriors, reminding them that even in the darkest of times, the legacy of a warrior queen could light the path towards a better future.